do I get charged for the stopped EC2 instance? No, you will not be charged for a stopped EC2 instance or any data transfer fees, but you will be charged for other resources attached to that stopped instance. Let me explain it. Resources like instance store, EBS root volume, public IP address, elastic IP address, etc. are associated with running EC2 instance. When we stop this instance, data stored in RAM and instance store volume will be lost. But attached EBS root volume and data stored in this root volume and elastic IP address will persist. Therefore, though you will not be charged for the stopped EC2 instance, but you will incur charges for this EBS volume and elastic IP address associated with this stopped instance. Let's stop this EC2 instance. Refresh. Now this instance is stopped. We go to networking. You'll see this elastic IP address associated with this is still associated. If we go to storage, we'll see that EBS root volume is still attached to this stopped EC2 instance. To minimize the cost, if elastic IP address is not needed anymore, then select that elastic IP address, deassociate elastic IP address, then release the elastic IP address. Also, as EBS snapshots are cheaper than active EBS volume. So you can create snapshot of the root volume, then you can detach the volume and delete it. Or alternatively, you can terminate the EC2 instance if you do not need it. In future, if you need, then you can simply create the volume from the snapshot and attach it to the EC2 instance. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one.